do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello friends in the last lecture we have done in numerical which was based on uh, that is um, chemical stoichiometry and now we are going to do in numerical or we are going to study a concept which is based on uh, limiting and excess reagent or reactant so let us see so this is a concept based on limiting and excess reactant or reagent so the first thing is we have to understand this two concept so first of all let us see the definition of it or what does it means so the first uh, is limiting reagent or reactant it says that the reactant taken in less or inadequate quantity in a chemical reaction is known as limiting reagent so in this case it will only be understood if we understand what is excess reagent and i'll give you an example so as to understand in a very better way and we'll come back again to the definition so as to uh, go through at what is actually limiting reagent means so now talking about the next one that is excess reagent or excess reagent so the reactant taken in a large quantity which remains unreacted in a chemical reaction is known as excess reagent so talking in a very simple way if i would say that uh, suppose if two reactants are being utilized are being reacted with each other and according to chemical stoichiometry we have determined that uh, a particular amount of or the number of moles will react with a particular amount in uh, in form of mass when the other reactant with the other reactant so as to form a product so suppose in this case uh, the weight that can be changed for the reactant uh, for the reactant so as to produce a particular product so suppose if uh, in a reaction if i take excess amount of uh, uh, that is in mass for a particular reactant that is for a and i have maintained the uh, mass of the b that is the reactant b as it is according to the chemical stoichiometry and if i have reacted then what i will see is the b will be consumed totally and the a which i have taken in excess in that case only a small or only a sufficient amount amount that a will react with b so as to produce the product so in this case if i see that the b is been totally consumed while there are fraction amount of the a that are been left in the overall reaction and that has not been reacted so in this case i could say that the a is nothing but the excess reagent or excess reactant while the b that has been totally consumed in the reaction will be uh, automatically said to be uh, the Uh, limiting reagent. So in this case, let me give an uh, example of it so as you could understand it in a very better way. A very normal reaction, suppose if I would say, that is for hydrogen and for oxygen. Suppose hydrogen and oxygen will react with each other so as to uh, produce water, that is H2O. So this is the reaction that I have wrote. but the first thing that we have to uh, analyze is whether this reaction is balanced or not so if i would see again a very logical thing that is there are two moles of uh, two moles of uh, hydrogen atom on the left hand side by on the right hand side also it is the same by the oxygen is again there are uh, two moles of atom on the uh, right hand side by that of the uh, product side it is one so i'll multiply it by so now it is being uh, balanced so in this case i could see that is only one mole of hydrogen is reacting with uh, uh, one mole of uh, oxygen so as to produce two moles of uh, h2 so suppose in this reaction i could say that is because it is one mole of h2 is reacting with one mole of o2 and so as to produce two moles of h2 so suppose Uh, one mole of H2 means how many grams? If I would say, but uh, again, sorry, I have to balance this thing because the hydrogen has been multiplied by two here, so it will be nothing but uh, after multiplying this thing by two, then only it will be four, and now it is being balanced. So this is the two moles of H2 uh, when react with uh, one mole of O2, so as to produce two moles of H2. So now in this case, if I would say that uh, the hydrogen which has atomic weight of one. While in molecular form, the molecular weight of this H2 molecule will be two gram. But as I know, because I have used two moles of uh, H2, that means I am totally using four gram of uh, hydrogen atom. 
uh, and talking about the next one that is for uh, oxygen. Oxygen has an atomic weight of uh, uh, 16 for uh, when I am talking about an atom. But in molecular form, that is for 4 to 8 will be 16 plus 16 because there are two atoms made in the world. So basically, 32. 32 gram of oxygen is made in the world. So suppose in uh, so overall, the answer that I could I should get is basically 32 plus 4 that is 36. So let us see whether the uh, molecular weight of hydrogen that we have obtained is uh, 32 or not when I am talking about the number of moles also including the number of moles. So the uh, H2 molecule has a molecular weight of 18 because I have got 2 moles of uh, uh, H2 so therefore uh, 36 gram of H2 will be obtained. So this has been a very, a very uh, balanced reaction actually. But suppose in this case as if I have took, I have to take 4 gram of H2 uh, so as to react with 32 gram of uh, uh, that is uh, oxygen so as to produce 36 gram of uh, H2. So suppose in this case, suppose if I have not taken 4 gram, suppose if I have taken some uh, more quantity, suppose if I have taken something like 8 gram. So in this case, suppose I have took 8 gram of uh, hydrogen. And I'm reacting again it with the same moles. That is one more of uh, uh, the uh, oxygen. That is again 32. So in this case, what I will get is so among the among the eight gram of uh, the uh, hydrogen, only as I know that four gram will react with the 32 gram of uh, the oxygen. Molecule, so as to produce 36 gram of the gas that is uh, of water gas. So in this case, I have to get 36 anyhow because in this case, if I see that the number of reactants uh, for the oxygen that is the number of moles one, it has been totally been consumed. So among the eight gram, four should be consumed and four is being consumed. So how many gas, how many gram is not being consumed? That is eight minus four. That is four gram is basically unconsumed that is this 4 gram which is being unconsumed will make the H2 as excess reagent while automatically the oxygen which is being present in the sufficient quantity that is 32 gram will become a limiting reagent and while this it will be 36 it will be obtained as 36 but the extra 4 gram it will be for the unconsumed hydrogen so therefore we will get uh, the gas that is 36 gram of gas of H2 while 4 gram of uh, gas of H2 that has been not been consumed. So this is what the limiting reagent and excess reagent. But let me tell you that why limiting reagent and excess reagent are more necessary to us to uh, for analyze uh, for analyzing a particular chemical reaction. So let me say that uh, a chemical uh, like suppose oxygen which is very needful for us. Suppose uh, the reactant uh, if I have taken in a limiting reagent, suppose for oxygen if I have taken or if I am considering the oxygen as a limiting reagent and hydrogen suppose if it is present in uh, abundant quantity. So what I am going to do that for a particular uh, reactant to be converted into a particular product so as uh, because it is very necessary for us. So therefore what I will take is I will take excess quantity of an abundant uh, thing or very inexpensive thing so as to convert the expensive uh, thing that is in case of oxygen I will convert that excess uh, expensive oxygen into some other products. So this is how we are making or we are purposely taking a particular thing as excess quantity while the other will be remaining as a limited reagent. For example gold, platinum, this all are the rare metals like platinum which is a rare metal. So uh, if we are reacting platinum with other chemicals like HCl or anything so we are considering or we are taking a small part of the platinum or the rare metals or rare uh, chemicals with the abundant quantity of other chemicals and we are reacting So this makes a theory that uh, to understand it much more better that is why excess and why limiting reagents are important in a chemical reaction. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have understood uh, what is limiting and what is excess reagent. So share this video with your friends and yes, don't forget to subscribe to channel. Thank you so much.